Hey guys, it's Carwick here. I'm under my mist today. I'm actually joined with Michael Lionheart. As you can see him running around on his um, fiery mount. Solar cat. <laughs> Solar cat. Um, anyway, this is a revamp of my, um, training pool of my, um, or we set my training points because they have, they actually have the free training point buyback, which I already bought my points back. Um, so is Michael. We're actually going to get the master of shapes badge because a couple of my files got corrupted from the last master of shapes. Um, this is going to be a complete episode. We're going to show you where to get each, where to get each one of them one by one and how to get the badge. All right, guys, um, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back, me and Michael. Michael, you there with me? Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, here. I'm pretty sure I'm here. <laughs> All right, we're going to head to Celestia, guys, and show you where you get your first polymorphs. All right, to oh, Celestia. <laughs> Celestia. There's actually oh. a couple places here where you get polymorphs. I'm going to show you the quickest way so you don't have to actually do a dungeon because they're one of them actually involves a dungeon, but you can get away without doing the dungeon. So, Yeah, just in case, if you guys want to do the hallway, you can do the dungeon, but this is mostly our way of doing it. <laughs> yeah, this is the easy and fast way. All right, and we're going to come here to the first moon stool, right here, and we're going to grab the two polymorphs that are here, which is the gobbler. And then we also have the Mander. All right, now we're going to head to the next location, which is in this um, little dungeon up here. Now, like I was saying, you guys can actually go in. You guys, there's you guys can go in here in this portal, and then there's an actual dungeon that you can go into. We're doing it the other way. We're going to go to this dungeon. And this dungeon is a—it's kind of a—it's kind of a cheap way to get around having to do a full dungeon because who wants to really do a full dungeon to get a badge? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, trust me. Back when I started Wizard, I had to do a lot of dungeons. I was back when Dragon Spy was still new. Yeah. Uh, trust me, I know that. We're gonna sneak down here, and we're gonna grab polymorphs from here. So technically, we have to go into a dungeon, but there's no fighting. And we're going to grab the bandit. And we're going to grab the ninja. And we're going to grab the dracon. All right. Okay, guys. We are going to head back out. And we'll see you in just a sec. All right, guys. We back. We got... We want to take a quick exit out the dungeon. So um, we're going to come over here and go to, um, this is, if I remember correctly, Storm Riven. Yes, Storm Riven Hall. Well, actually, it's near Storm Riven Hall. It's not actually, so the quickest way to get to it is obviously Storm Riven. Uh, Storm and Riven. here we go. Now we're going to take a long run around. This is for all you viewers that don't know where to get the polymorphs. <clears throat> Like I said, my other video, I had just showed you me getting the polymorphs. Well, actually, this one, because, like, the Azteca file got corrupted. So we're going to attempt to not have a, a corrupted file this time. So yeah. we're going to actually... Plus, we have, like, another person here. We have what? We have another person, me. Yeah, <laughs> we have Mike with us today. Yes. And... Um, you guys just have to skip by all these battles. And the cool thing about getting all the polymorphs is you don't have to battle unless you go through the one dungeon. Well, why would you want to go into a dungeon and have to fight like a couple battles to get the polymorphs? Obviously, nobody wants to fight when they get a badge. They want to get it and get out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um, this next one is actually, it, it, it's a good, I'm not going to lie, it's a good run because you guys got to go almost to the end of this zone to get this one. And like I said, Storm Riven Hall is over here to the right. If you guys haven't been to Storm Riven Hall, it's, an, it's, a, it's a quest that you have to do. But we're going to skip past that a little bit and go in the next hole, which is over here. 
and then it's hidden. <clears throat> wow. And then it's hidden right behind here. And there's also a um, trog, I think, back here as well. So if you guys haven't gotten the trog, there's a trog here too. And here we're going to pick up a trog or a man. Trog or a man, are true. Here we're going to pick up the Trent. We're going to pick up the Colossus, the ice one, which you guys all know. Um, you know, actually, I might just have to pick that up for Wormblade. Even though he's ice, I might just have to have that just for the just for the fun of it. Oh, and lovely. Then, and the uh, call I got there was Wormblade. <laughs> <laughs> and um, all right, that's that one. Now we're going to actually go back to Celestia. And our next, our next zone is Azteca. See, now, if um, some of you older um, players would know that um, after we got all those badges, after we got all the polymorphs we just got, that's it. You would have got your Master of Shapes badge. Well, since they've added more polymorphs, that you have to get more polymorphs, of course, to get the Master of Shapes. So now we got to go to Azteca. And while we're here, there's only three here we're going to pick up. And um, the three here, I think one's a healing one, and one's like a dinosaur. I can't remember exactly. <clears throat> but there's a dinosaur. There's the, um, the one that looks like a savage paw. And I can't remember the last one. I think it's like a, a pterodactyl, I think. It might be a pterodactyl. Yeah, it might be. And just so you guys know, you do have to do quests to unlock these. And this one is available at level 88. It's a balance boss, if I remember, Mike. Mm -hmm. It's a balance boss we have to fight to unlock this one. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, but... that's what I think. Okay, yeah, oh. you're good. A little warning here, though. When you are uh, done with like, the Master of Shapes... Let me get the badge. When you retrain to get your normal spells back, make sure to get your aura. I had that problem happen to me. <laughs> yes, make sure you get your aura because, yeah, most people, they want their aura. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to grab those. Now we're going to go to Chrysalis and pick up our last ones because the, these, these are only one-turn shift spells, but they are... Um, there's actually a couple good ones, and while we're here looking at them, I'm going to tell you which ones are probably preferably, if you do decide to get particular polymorphs, which ones you might want to get. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you right now, first off, the life one. If, if you're a PvPer and you do lots of PvP, you're definitely going to want the life one, and I'll show you why. <clears throat> but um, like I said, um, we'll discuss more once we get there. The last ones are in Chrysalis, and you have to be level 98 to get these. These are, <clears throat> these are actually, some of them, like I said, are pretty good. Um, some can be used for questing. Some are good for PvP. To be honest, only one is really good, I think, for PvP. But you guys might see something. And if there is, you can let me know in the comments below. Um, if you think there's one of these other polymorphs that I'm picking up here, would be worth getting for PvP. And then I'll look into it. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you have, like I used to saw, I just went through a teleporter. You're going to go through the middle teleporter because obviously I'm only partially into Chrysalis. Um, but I use the moon. I use the one that takes you to moon cliffs because that's where the spell is. Now, if you're level 98 and you're not up to this point, you can always get somebody to port you in here. And you can get these polymorphs because they're they open up exactly at 98. You don't have to do any quest lines for them at all. The only quest lines you have to do for, of course, is your shadow magic and all that good stuff. <clears throat> hmm. All right. All right. And now, like I said, we're going to go through these and we're going to we're going to grab them <clears throat> so we can get the badge. And we're going to discuss some of them. And if Mike has any um, perspectives on any, you're more than welcome to throw yours in as well. Well, <clears throat> like the shift, are pretty good. The shift, Grendel. Mm, 
I don't, I'm not too sure about the shift Grendel because it's 115 plus 360 over time and the, the accuracy thing maybe. The storm one is there, I don't, I don't uh, to be honest, I don't know if the storm one's really worth it because it is damage and it steals a pip, but then the balance one, the balance one's a good one because it gives you a pierce and it gives you accuracy. So that might be a good one to use. This is the one I was talking about. 340 to damage, 25, which puts a negative 25 on your opponent. So now you're giving them a weakness, plus you're gaining a blade. Now that one I actually have on Wormblade when I use them for PvP. That's when like somebody hits them with like an Ifrit, or they start spamming him with dispels, or not dispels, but um, weaknesses and stuff like that. That's really good to take off. The ice one is okay. Um, it does do damage, and it does give you. It can give you a um, trap from 15 to 45, which is pretty good. The myth one. Uh, let's see, 340 damage removes a blade and and a shield. So that one might be okay. And the death one, of course, negative 25 and a negative 50 to life. So that's basic for the death one. You basically get a weakness and they get an infection. So that one's probably another good one for PvP. All right, now that we have acquired all of the <clears throat> um, polymorphs, we're going to go into our into our book. And under our badges, it should actually be there. It is. It's it's uh, it's under Mike. It's under um it's under the miscellaneous badges. If you're looking yeah, for it. it, okay. And you see, we just got it right there. It doesn't register on the screen that you got the badge. This is one of the badges that don't register that you obtained it. Um, but it is there. <clears throat> and now we do have, you see, you see Mikey, he's wearing his Master of Shapes, just like I'm putting mine on. So, yeah, we have now the Masters of Shapes. We have completed all of the polymorphs. Now we're going to go retrain and then spend probably the rest of the night getting our regular spells back. All right, guys, peace, and we out. Mike? Yeah. Want to say later? Yeah, later, guys. Um, if you want to find me on stuff, I'm Mikey the Ice Wizard. Well, Mikey the Ice Wizard on Cock Windblaze Twitter. And that's pretty much it. Later, guys. Peace.